Hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new and you like makeup, beauty, hair or hauls then please consider subscribing. So I recently picked up a few items from, well more than a few actually, from Makeup Revolution and I thought I'd throw them together and do them in kind of like a a full face of Makeup Revolution products. So the products that I have are the Game of Thrones liquid lipstick, which is actually, or lip gloss, I'm not sure. Um, but this is actually one that I ordered when I did the palette review for the Winter is Coming palette. But they omitted to put this into the parcel. So I have now got this. So I'm going to put this in today's video. I also have the new Super Matte Foundation, the full coverage, like the two-in-one concealer stroke uh, foundation to review this is the Brie Love by Revolution one I've got this brow powder kind of a stamp thing which I have actually done a TikTok on I wasn't very impressed when I used it last time but I'm always up for giving something second chances you know <laughs> so I thought I'd try that out again today I have the new eyeliner the liner pow one this is quite old, but I've had a look and there's no reviews on this palette. Well, I think one maybe. So this is the Glam Mood Night Out palette. This is Revolution Pro. And then I also have the My Fashion Face palette. So I think this is like um, a contour slash bronzer shade. And then there's a highlighter in here as well. The other products that obviously I don't have here are going to be Makeup Revolution as well. But they're things that I've already used before. Right then, so let's crack on and get straight to it. Okay, so we're going to start off with foundation. So as I say, it's the Relove Revolution one. And this was only £5, so a real bargain. I got the shade F6. There were, I, th I can't remember how many shades there were to choose from, possibly around 10-ish. But they were all quite either quite light or quite dark. Now, I do have a Revolution foundation from a while back, which is actually a shade F6. So I thought, well, you know, it's probably the same shade. So we're going to go with this one anyway, even though it does look a little bit light for me. I can always warm it up if I need to. It's not actually too bad. I think it might be OK. So I've already prepped my skin with my usual skincare this morning. So that's all done. So I'm just going to go straight on with the foundation. So as I say, it's a two in one. So I think it's like a, a concealer slash foundation. So it's in a glass bottle and then it has a top like that. So there's no pump or anything like that on it. Uh, you can probably get pumps and, um, you know, pop one in if you want to. Uh, not from Revolution, I had a look, but um, maybe from elsewhere. But yeah, we're going to go straight on. I'm going to pour a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Sorry, the stickers come off. Right, I'm going to pop a little bit of this on the back of my hand. So... That's probably more than enough just there. So as you can see, it is quite a runny formula. I'm just going to do what I would normally do, which would be just to pick some up on my brush. And just kind of dot it around my face to start off with. Just small amounts. And then, see, that's probably fine for me. And I've still got that much left. So... Yeah, I'm just going to work it in with my brush. Right, OK, so there's the one side done. I'm just going to take my sponge and just press that in, just get rid of any brush streaks or anything like that for a matte foundation it actually looks quite nice I don't normally like matte foundations but I've seen a few more reviews using this foundation and it didn't look that matte on them which is what made me you know want to try it out for myself but it actually looks quite nice and it doesn't look too too light at all. It looks fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my face now. Mm -hmm. 
Right, okay, so that's the foundation all on. I actually quite like this. I do. Um, for I, I was unsure. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, as I say, with it being a matte. But it doesn't look matte on my skin at all. I'd say it's more of a satin finish. Um, so, yeah, there's a little close-up for you. Sort of on my nose, just there chin yeah i actually think it's quite nice um it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the products go on to it but i would say it's definitely bearing in mind it's called super matte i would say it's definitely a satin finish and a medium coverage maybe medium to full but more on the medium side right then so next i'm going to go on with the brow powder i'm quite scared about this because as i say it didn't go too well the last time i tried it so we're going to try again so in here you get like a tube which is a bit like a stick foundation but it's not it's a sponge applicator with a brow powder in so there's also the powder in here as well um so you can actually get a brush and obviously you know dip into that if you want to as well and then you also get four brow stencils so we have a kind of a straighter one just there we've got a more natural kind of curved shape one which is actually the one that i'll go for so i'll put that one to the side and then we've got a kind of again a bit more of a, a curve just there but it's a bit thicker than the one i just showed you and then another more arched one just there as well as i say i'm going to go for the kind of more natural one so this one just here I think the reason I didn't get on with this, to be honest, is because I'm really fussy with my brows. Uh, but, you know, you've got to try these things, haven't you? So I'm going to take the stencil. I'll do this brow. And then what I think I actually went wrong with before is I use this straight from the powder. What I'm going to do this time is kind of dab quite a lot of it off. So there. So that's the colour. There you go. If you want to swatch. <laughs> that's the colour that it gives and then I'm going to take the stencil and kind of place it I always find these stencils a bit tricky because obviously they're made to a certain brow shape and my brow shape isn't that long right I think I'm going to go for there I'm going to concentrate more on the centre of the brow and the tail more than the front of my brow just lightly dotting it on see to me that looks really really dark right and then I'm going to take the stencil and just peel it off do you see what I mean this bit here I know there's other stencils with different shapes but this one's closer to my shape so this bit isn't too bad it's a bit more blocky than I'd like but my arch kind of goes down there as you know my brows are shorter you'd have to have a fairly you know long eyebrow really for your arch to be over here which I don't have and they're all about the same length to be honest so what I'm going to do is just kind of I'll finish them off off camera but I'm going to kind of just use this bit so I'm going to take this bit off here and just manually put in that bit there and just use my usual brow pencil just to kind of fill in the front of my brow just here but yeah for me this is a no but I'm sure if you've got a longer brow you know um, one that's more naturally that shape basically then you probably get on with it it'll probably be nice and quick but it is quite blocky obviously you're not going to get that kind of a feathered brow effect it is quite a blocky look and with it being a powder if you then go over with a brow gel or something it's going to kind of take that powder off so yeah it's one of those things but I think this is going to be a bit of a love hate type thing for me it's a no right okay so that's the best that I can do to be honest to me, they're a little bit blocky, a little bit darker than I'd normally go for. And yeah, just a bit blocky, really. 
um and i have tried to play with them i've tried to brush through them and everything but this is the best i could get i was going to take them off and just do them as as normal but i thought well no i'll leave them because obviously this is supposed to be a review so i'm going to leave them as they are and just continue right so next we're going to go on with eyes so as i say it's the revolution pro glam mood night out palette so this one actually i've had my eye on for a while because i thought the colors look really really nice so packaging is like that so it's quite a kind of a standard basic packaging but you know it's nice the actual shadows themselves are quite pretty though oh my god just put my nail in it honestly you can't take me anywhere right so this is the color story just here which i actually think is really nice really nice it's the perfect kind of night out as it says like you know glam sort of look you can get from this right okay so i'm going to start off by going into the outer part of my lid here using the shade classy which is this really nice brown down in the corner here that's actually a really nice shade really nice and it blends quite nicely as well i always find that the formula of the revolution pro shadows are pretty good to be honest with you the next thing i'm going to do is actually dip into the black which obviously is this one just here called midnight and i'm going to blend that into the outer part just here using the same brush want to kind of create that little bit of depth and connect it to that shade just above I don't want to go overboard with the black yeah just like that so that's actually worked really well and then I'm going to go on to this inner part just here with a shimmer. And I'm going to go in for this colour here called Fancy. Actually, I was going to go for the purple, but I've done a lot of purples lately. So I'm going to go for this kind of more, I'd say, coppery, bronzy kind of shade. Pop a little bit on my brush. It's kind of like one of those putty formula ones. So we'll probably go on better with my finger, although it's actually going on really quite nice with a brush. I'm just going to place that on this inner part here. Oh, that's really pretty. I really like that. I think that's gone on beautifully. Really nice. And then on the inner corner, I'm going to go with the colour Sparkle, which is this kind of more pinky shade here. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on my inner corner just there. Oh, that's nice. Just that little pop of pink in the corner there. Really pretty. Okay, lovely. I'm really happy with that. Right, so then I've got the eyeliner. So it's the Liner Pow, which is their new one they've just bought out. It's like this. So it's a pen type liner. And I'm just going to do the tiniest, tiniest wing just on the outer corners. Well, that's the plan. I'm not very good at eyeliner. I always say this, but um, I keep trying. <laughs> hoping that one day I will get better. A 
that's not too bad for me anyway i've just got to match it up now the um the eyeliner is actually really nice really easy to use it's very black so you know you don't need to mess around with it too much which i do find with some of them i think that's where i'm going wrong i know i'm going wrong by using a pen when i'm when i'm learning to do eyeliner but you know i do like to chuck myself in at the deep end um but yeah i mean it, it's it's a nice liner it is nice right so i'm just going to try and match it up on the other side right okay so i've got it like that is it perfect no are they even probably not but i am really really happy with it really happy with it for me that's a huge huge achievement <laughs> so yeah so right i've got my my little tiny wing and I'm just going to put some mascara on. So I haven't got a new mascara, but I'm going to go on with a Revolution one again. So it's actually the Lash Pow mascara. So I'm going to chuck that on and then I'll come back and we'll do the rest of my base products. Right. OK, so what I did, I just finished off very quickly with the shade that I used originally, that kind of that brown shade. And I just ran that just underneath my lower lash line as well. So we're going to go in with the My Fashion Face Palette now. So this is the Oman Desert Diary. So very pretty. It looks like a diary, actually. <laughs> so it looks like this. We've got this kind of pink velvety cover. And then inside we have these two shades here. So this one is a highlighter. This one, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It doesn't say on the packaging or the palette itself. I'm sure it does on the website. But to me, it looks like a very cool, it's matte. So it looks like a very cool toned bronzer. So that's the highlighter shade just there, which is really nice. And then that's the kind of bronzer shade. So it's very cool toned. So I think I'm going to use it as a contour. So we're going with the contour first. So I'm going to just dip in with my brush and just take that kind of here and just blend that in it's not it's not overly dark um it doesn't really show up much if i'm honest on my skin tone maybe if you're fairly pale it would let me try on this side with a little bit more eh, i don't know it's showing up a bit more now with a bit more product it's not too bad right i'll pop a little bit around the top as well Right, okay, so we're looking at that just there. Um, I can't really, really tell a difference, to be quite honest with you. I don't think it's dark enough for me. Um, but as I say, from the swatch, it looks like if you've got a really fair skin tone, it'll probably be a lot better for you. But I will still obviously go ahead and use the highlighter. Um, what I'm going to do, because I don't have a new bronzer or blush... I'll go in with this little face palette here. So this is the Patricia Bright one, which I've had for quite a while, actually, but it's really nice. So I'm just going to use the bronzer and the blusher out of this one. Okay, so that's that done. So I'll go back into this palette now and use the highlighter. Oh my gosh, that's a bit intense. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. We'll uh, take quite a bit of that off. 
Um, I've got a stripe. Uh, I don't know if that was my fault because I went in a bit heavy handed. Let's grab my sponge. Just blot that down a bit. Maybe a bit of finger as well. That's better. Right, okay, let's try that again. A little a little dip, tap off. That's better. You don't need a lot of that, believe me. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's nice. A very slight, slight cast. Weirdly, I think the highlighter might be a touch too dark and the bronzer slash contour shade, I think might be a little bit too light. Um, but yeah, it's pretty though. Yeah, there we go. That one's that one's better than that one. So, yeah, I think it is quite pretty, actually. It's nice. I don't seem to have a cast either on that side. I think there's just a bit too much on this side. And, yeah, it's just not blended very well. But this one's a lot better. So I think this is a lipstick. It's the um, Aya Stark one from the Game of Thrones collection. So the packaging looks like this, which is actually really quite nice. I like this matte black lid here. Very nice. Then, oh, it smells really nice and sweet. Oh, that's a gorgeous colour. So then that's what the colour's like. Really nice. That's actually exactly what I was hoping it would be like. That is a stunning, stunning colour. I really, really like that. It's really nice. It's like a perfect kind of autumnal purpley mauvey shade. And it's it's really, really nice. It's exactly what I was expecting it to be to be honest, from, from like the pictures online, I expect it to be exactly like this. The only thing I will say about these ones, they're fine with the, with the gloss bombs, but with a liquid lipstick, obviously you need to be a bit more precise. And I think that the ones on these, because they're quite chunky, so they're like that. And um, yeah, they're quite hard to get quite precise on the lip. Um, as I say, it's fine with the gloss, but with a liquid lipstick, you have to, I find you have to be so precise with them. Uh, that is the only thing I will say. But yeah, the colour and the finish, love it. Really, really nice. Right then, so we're all done. So I will sort, there's a swatch there. I will sort my hair out and then be back. Right, so this is the finished look and I do like it. I love the eyes, absolutely love the eyes. It's the brows for me. They kind of, because they're so dark, and blocky they just kind of like I think your eyes are, are directed to my eyebrows <laughs> and uh yeah it's not for me it really isn't for me that little stamping kit but everything else I'm actually quite pleased with even the foundation which you know for for a matte is actually quite nice it is I really like it absolutely love this lip color I really do the eyes yeah just really nice i'm so happy with the eyes so as always all products used in today's video i will link in the description box below for you along with any discount codes anything like that other than that i hope you enjoyed watching and if you did please give me a thumbs up and i'd really appreciate it i mean the absolute world to me if you did enjoy watching this video and you would like to see more content from me in the future and you would like to subscribe to my channel until then thanks for watching bye It's in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby.